right, boys, you guys know on this channel, I normally do gameplays on the brand new cards. I do a lot of top tens on the channel, but this is a different video here today. We have two cards that I think almost everybody should have on their team that will make the game much easier for you and also make your defense that much better. Normally, I don't do defensive videos, but I truly do think these cards are that good in the game. But if you guys enjoy gameplays like this, you enjoy top tens, anything my ultimate team, make sure that like and hit that sub. We're on that road to 30,000 subscribers. I also stream on Twitch every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, muttpacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. We all know about the Milkman. Everybody's been using the Milkman. He is the best pass rusher in the game. He's been the past, best pass rusher in the game for a while. We all know that. And there's only one reason because of it. This right here, the Unstoppable Force X Factor, otherwise known as the Milkman X Factor, is insane. It's It's been broken. It's the only uh, discounted pass rush move that is not counterable. That's the only move in the game that is not countered by an offensive line ability. So that's why he's been broken, but there's two of them now. So boys, the brand new Demarcus Lawrence tank. Yes, it's an LTD. He's not as expensive as some of the other LTDs in the game. I put this card up for 740k, which I was okay with paying like 900k because how good this card is. He truly Truly is an end game card only because of that X factor alone. He gets the exact same X factor as JJ Watt. A lot of people would just double team JJ Watt to stop him a little bit or slow him down. Now you can't do that because there's two of them on the line. You guys know this stuff is absolutely OP. This is all I'm running. No other ability that's worth anything. This is a zero AP strip specialist, which is whatever at the end of the day. I just want to show you guys how good this is in a game today. All right, boys, we officially get into a game and we are going to be on offense first. Obviously, we have our settings set to offense first because we normally do offensive gameplays. But if we can get a quick score and makes this guy kind of pass the ball a little bit, I think we'll be in a good spot. And it looks like this guy has Milkman as well. And look at Kyle Pitts man the aka players are really just taking over this game there's so many x factors everywhere feels like we're playing house rules yeah i don't know yeah that is not jj watt over there i don't know who that is with the x factor but it looks like this guy is sending the heat most of the game here and i think we're gonna have wide open kyle pitts once again and we're gonna score in an early fashion right here let's go get tank and obviously the milkman out here boys we should have a great drive of defense as well Boys, as many of you guys know, I normally do run dollar where there's three down linemen. But for today's video, I'm going to use four down linemen until we kind of get bullied out of it so we can get a little bit better of a look. But he's already taking a delay of game. I am definitely accepting that. Looks like we might be playing a runner. I don't know. This is kind of a run formation. We'll see what he does right here on first and 15. I feel like you almost have to pass the ball. But obviously, these X factors only work against the pass rush. And it looks like he has no ability on that left tackle as well. So hopefully we could dominate. And yeah, we're going to stop the run as well in this formation. Hey boys, I'm not going to pinch the line. I don't know what he has on that right tackle right there. But the left tackle having no ability should be... Ab look, at, look at JJ Watt already, boys. JJ Watt already. And we're going to get ourselves an interception with Leon Sanders. Castle. That's literally from pressure alone. I don't know why he threw that, but the pressure alone forced him to throw that. That's why you need abilities on your offensive lineman as well. I think secure tackler and edge protector slow it down, but it doesn't counter it. It'll still shed better than any other ability in the game. But let's see what he's run right here. I don't know if he's going to keep running, man. I think we're going to have Ky Kyle Pitts is kind of dominating. It's not even like I, I didn't even draw that play up for him. He's just wide open. It feels so weird recording like gameplays and not like force feeding the one player because like it just feels like everything else is just so much more open. But let's see. I I mean, if this is turning into the Kyle Pitts show. He had a wide open touchdown right there, but he got bumped. I don't know if you guys saw that. He's running DB fire too, which one is one of the best. He doesn't have it base aligned, so it shouldn't come in through fast. And look at it, boys. He did not guard it. He didn't see it last play. Kyle Pitts, another, I mean, this dude, I don't know, man. I've, I've used a lot of new wide receivers. I just keep on coming back to Kyle Pitts, but... And it looks like we already got ourselves a rage quit. Let's get into another one in showcase. I need to get a sack at least in this gameplay. All right, boys, we already got into a game number two. I truly do really want to like just get a sack. That's all I want is it. We had a good play though. We only had one play of defense and you guys saw the pressure JJ Watt already did. And that's only one side of the ball. Imagine there's going to be a lot of plays where they're both coming at you. I do want to just score fast. I literally just want to be on defense. Is that weird? Normally, everybody wants to be on offense, but I think Kyle Pitts might win a one-on-one -on -one over here. I, this dude is, like, better than half of the wide receivers I've used in this game. Seriously. The one thing that's always tough about playing the, the double A gap is that you never know when they're blitzing. That is the only thing that is tough about this formation, and it looks like he did not blitz right there, and man, oh, man, nothing is open. And, oh, the worst penalty in the game to get. 
See, the thing that's tough is if this guy only blitzes four, he like, you know what I mean? We have all the protection in the world on the abilities. You got to get like really lucky on a shed. But look at Kyle Pitts again. The guy usered it as well. I I'm telling you, this dude runs routes like a wide receiver. I don't know what it is with this formation, but it's like telling me that the edges are blitzing. I don't know. It's only four down line, but I don't know why it's considered a blitzer like that. But I think we might have a touchdown over here. And who other? Who other than Kyle Pitts? All right, boys, here we go, and we get the quad father. Uh-oh, this guy This guy knows the deal. He has three X factors, boys. But look at we know how to kill the quad father. We, we already got one of the tackle for losses. Play this game way too much to allow somebody just to use the quad father every play. You know what I mean? I have Junior Seau. I have Rodney Harrison with the, uh, with the tackle supreme. And look at J.J. Watt. I'm telling you, that's a four-man rush. We're getting home right away. And he already rage quit, man. I can't even get a gameplay because these cards are so good on defense. One play of defense on both sides. All right, boys, I have already scored. Yes, we have scored. I didn't want to show offense again because this gameplay has been basically all offense. But look at boys. We already got the quad father again. Oh, man, the quad father. I just, we already got a sack. JJ Watt forced an interception in the first game as well. And look at Tank. Tank in the backfield, but yeah, I'm not running the best coverage defense. My defense is not set up to run this at all. Let me just say that. But we're really here to showcase two guys anyway, so it's whatever. I feel like he's going to run the ball a lot with the quad father. I just have a feeling. You could always tell. You could literally always tell. All right, boys, I just want to sack. Like, he has no ability on his right tackle this game, so this should be a tank feast game right now. Let's see if we can have a nice little play. And, oh, we have KOs. That's what I was about to say. We have a lot of KOs everywhere for that. Boys, here we go. We've been kind of dominating on the defensive side of the ball. Let's see. And it looks like, okay, we have a guy that throws right away. We're ready for those. We're always ready for those. All right, man, come on, Tank. We need Tank to go crazy. I kind of want to turn on aggressive tackling and see if strip specialists would work on a sack. That would be insane in a gameplay, but he is letting this go all the way down. And look at it. We have a bunch of tackle abilities, man. The quad father's just, that card is like, I think that card's terrible now, personally. I think Derrick Henry's way better. Ah, uh, the X factors are off. See, this is where it sucks because now they don't really have much abilities. All we have is strip specials on him. So it definitely sucks. But good news is, as you guys know, it comes back on in five plays, which is the reason why a lot of people do run these. And look at it, man. Tank getting a big touch on the player so we can make the tackle. All right, you guys remember last time he was in this formation, he threw the ball right away without looking. And he's actually going to look for underneath right here. We have everything bagged in Tank without the X factor gets there. I can do as well as I can go over to my normal defenses well when the x factor is in here so we could just play you know normal uh like how i would normally play the game but let's see and looks like a wide open play man oh, this is a crazy formation he has a stack over here and then a, like a little trips to the left i've never seen this before let's see what he's got for us though on this first and 10 boys and it looks like oh the corner out we have ko's everywhere i was about to say all right boys here we go we did kind of counter that on the left let's see if he throws that corner out again and let's go we're playing great defense right now all right, the X Factors are back on. Come on, man, boys. We need this badly right here. Let's see. And he's just throwing the high ball and look at it. Come on. I feel like you got a kick here. No, fourth and 10. It's just like you're just taking yourself out the game if you don't get this. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see what he's got for us right here. And what a play. Just a corner. I don't know what our safety did right there. He just watched it. Tariq Woolen with 99 play rack and 99 zone. All right, boys, the X Factors are back on, and we're still in this formation. I know it's not the best deal in the world, but we are kind of playing against a runner, so we have to pinch a little bit, and he already lost it. I mean, that's a, hey, that is crazy defense. If they're already losing the X Factor like that, that is nuts for us. And look at Tank already at the quarterback in a three-man rush, boys. I absolutely hate this defense. This is cover four, but without the match, I think it's going to be terrible. But hey, you never know. We're just want to see Tank. Look at Tank already in the backfield, forcing with reads that he doesn't probably want to throw right away, but we'll take it. All right, boys. Can hey, I don't know why Tank's X Factor is gone, but Milkman's isn't. It makes no sense. I think they both have the same requirements, but hey, whatever. We'll take it. We'll still take an X Factor on the floor. Let's see what he's got for us. And man, GG's. Hey, boys, I just wanted to show at least like one or two more defensive possessions in that game. I ended up just chewing that game out on offense. I don't think anyone wanted to see it, but Tank and the Milkman are literally glitches. You can only send three to four people. You can send those two alone in the edge, drop your D tackle into like a little zone. They are amazing, boys. I think they are worth every single penny. I would definitely go get you a, t a Tank or a Milkman, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.